Welcome to the Centrica Energy Morecambe Hub offshore operations. Your safety and the safety of others is of paramount importance to us. All personnel on board, whether officers, crew or contractors, are accountable for their own safety and for looking after the safety of others. This is particularly relevant when working in close proximity to the Calder offshore facility. The Calder platform differs from the other Centrica Energy Morecambe Hub operated platforms because the gas that it produces is sour gas. In other words, it contains high levels of the toxic gas hydrogen sulphide, H2S. For this reason, the safety systems, procedures and safety equipment are somewhat different from those used when working on the other remotes and on the CPC. It is imperative that before you set sail for Calder, you must have knowledge in recognising the presence of hydrogen sulphide, understand its potentially lethal effects, how to protect yourself and the appropriate actions to take in an emergency. Hydrogen sulphide is a highly toxic, flammable, colourless gas that is slightly heavier than air. When inhaled, hydrogen sulphide passes directly through the lungs into the bloodstream, where it affects the areas of the brain which control breathing. The lungs stop working and death follows quickly. Hydrogen sulphide, otherwise known as H2S, is one of the most dangerous gases found in the oil and gas industry. It is highly toxic and can be fatal at relatively low concentrations. The main characteristics of H2S are, it is a colourless, toxic and flammable gas, has a distinctive odour of rotten eggs at low concentrations, earning it the nickname of sour gas or rotten egg gas, is slightly heavier than air and can accumulate in low-lying areas and confined spaces such as manifolds, tanks, sewers, drains and wells. Is easily dispersed by wind movements or air currents. Is soluble in water, crude oil or petroleum fractions. Burns with a blue flame producing sulphur dioxide which is also a toxic gas. Is extremely hazardous to health and can cause death. H2S is generally recognised by its characteristic foul odour at concentrations under 10 parts per million. Less than one part per million can be detected by this odour, although prolonged exposure will deaden the sense of smell. The effects associated with H2S at different concentrations are about 30 parts per million eye and throat irritation, especially in vulnerable workers occurs. About 100 parts per million inflammation and blistering of the eye and loss of sense of smell occurs. About 500 parts per million dizziness, cough, headache, nausea and within 15 minutes abdominal pains are experienced followed by death after prolonged exposure. About 700 parts per million rapid unconsciousness occurs followed by death within minutes. Around 1000 parts per million and above results in death within seconds. When Calder is unmanned, the CPC OIM is responsible for control of the remote installation and its 500 metre safety zone. When manned, control is formally transferred to the intervention OIM, who will remain in charge of the remote installation and its 500 metre safety zone for the duration of the visit. Under no circumstances should the vessel access the platform 500 metre safety zone without permission from the OIM or logistics supervisor. When the vessel approaches Calder, it is important that the bridge make sure that any vessel air system is on recycle and all personnel are aware of the prevailing wind directions. It is important that you keep doors and hatches shut at all times when you are alongside the Calder platform. Owing to the H2S hazard on board Calder, you will be issued with additional safety equipment for your use while on board. It is a mandatory requirement to use this equipment while working in the proximity of Calder. You may be issued with a radio, 
which you must carry at all times. This will be identified in the vessel risk assessment. You will also be issued with an electronic H2S monitor, which you must always wear within the breathing zone of your face. The upper chest level is the preferred location, as close to your head as possible. Make sure you know how to operate and check the H2S monitor. A visual, audible and vibratory alarm is given if the monitor detects five parts per million or more. The monitor will warn you of the presence of H2S in the atmosphere because you cannot rely on your sense of smell to detect its presence. You will also be issued with an escape set to provide suitable protection should there be a suspected gas release on the Calder platform. The escape set must be either worn, kept near or at arm's reach at all times while working near Calder. Additional training will be provided on the specific emergency escape sets. Make sure that you store your EBA equipment in a safe manner. Do not drop or throw them onto the floor or stow them on top of each other. They are there to look after you, so look after them. There are two alarms used on board the Calder platform you should be familiar with. The confirmed fire or gas, which is an intermittent sounder of constant frequency. and the toxic gas alarm, which is a constant sounder. Should any alarm sound on the Calder platform during vessel operations, or if you hear your H2S monitor activate, or your vessel alarm sounds, you must follow these emergency actions. For those on the bridge, the vessel should cease operations and make safe as quickly as possible. Then move off to a safe location upwind of the installation immediately. The bridge should establish radio contact with the Calder control room as soon as possible and follow any further instructions. If the Calder platform is unmanned, then contact the CPC control room. If you are on deck and involved in close standby duties, stop work immediately and don your ELSA Dash EBA set. Hold your breath. Remove the hood from the pouch. Turn on the air supply and put on the hood of the emergency escape set. Make your worksite safe. Report to your muster point and remain at muster until you are instructed otherwise. If you have the Avon EH-20 escape hood, hold your breath, remove from the pouch, remove the foil wrap and put the hood on. Depending on the vessel, the risk assessment may require all personnel to don their escape equipment. If you see someone who has been involved in an incident and needs help, you must be extremely cautious. H2S may be the cause of the incident and it may still be present. Ensure that you are wearing your emergency breathing apparatus. Raise the alarm and make your way to safety. Remember that 50% of the people killed in H2S incidents were trying to rescue others. Although unlikely, if an incident occurs, the nearest attended installation is CPC, which is 047 degrees, at a distance of 3.7 nautical miles from Calder. Due to the proximity of underwater cables and pipelines, which connect the various platforms to each other and the mainland, Anchoring is only permitted outside the mooring exclusion zone. It is important that we work together to ensure regard for all our health, safety and environmental conditions. Our policies and procedures are designed to ensure the protection of people, plant and the environment. Centrica Energy Morecambe Hub insists on the highest possible engineering and safety standards. Considerable care has been taken to protect people, plant and the environment. 
For this reason, it is important the vessel-specific risk assessment for working in close proximity to the Calder platform is strictly adhered to. We care about the people who work in our operation, and we care about the environment. If you are in any doubt, ask, and please remember, there is no job so urgent or important that we cannot take time to do it safely.